My name is Ben Goldacre. I run a team called the Data Lab here in the Department of Primary Care. The BRC supports our work in applied clinical informatics. Now that's a fiddly and annoying term. What it means is we take data sets from the NHS and instead of just producing dry academic research papers, we turn them into live, interactive, data-driven tools that anyone can use. Our objectives are to democratise access to data, to put data truly into action. Our biggest tool is called Open Prescribing. This had over 100,000 individual users over the past 12 months, and it's a service that lets you see what every individual's GP practice in the country is prescribing. You can see who's fast and slow at responding to changes in price, safety alerts, and changes in the evidence on effectiveness of treatments. You can also see where the big cost saving opportunities are for your practice. This isn't just a service for doctors, it's also so that patients can see how prescribing behaviour varies across the country. But it's also for other interested parties, for example journalists, but also commissioners. In fact we've even seen open prescribing being used live in the NHS England board meeting by somebody wanting to check a hunch on the use of an opioid painkiller called Tramadol. We're quite an unusual team in the sense that we are a truly mixed bunch of software engineers, traditional academic researchers and clinicians, all working collaboratively together. We pool all of our skills and that's because the work that we do is so technically complex that no one individual could do all of it in one go. And alongside our tools, because we've got such a nice, well-optimised database, we also publish lots and lots of papers. So over the past year, we've published maybe 20 manuscripts looking at things like trends and variation in prescribing of opioids, gluten-free foods, medicines that the NHS recommend aren't used. But we've also published lots of research looking at how information flows through the ecosystem of medicine. You would like to imagine that when the evidence changes, doctors' behaviour changes immediately. But actually, some organisations are fast and some organisations are slow. So we've been looking at how that change in behaviour varies, but also what we can do to improve evidence-based practice. Firstly, through giving people data, but also doing randomised trials on various different interventions to change people's prescribing behaviour.